Good morning, folks. Today we're looking ahead to the big planetary alignments of the next two days. The super typhoon has hit China and Vietnam. We've got an excellent paper on cosmic health impacts, and tonight we'll do what may be our last live stream show ever. Let's start with space weather in the last 24 hours on our star where the bulk of relevant activity is on the south at the sunspots crossing central heliographic longitudes. You see an upper coronal field release associated with an M-class solar flare. It was long duration unlike the impulsive events of the past few days. Right side of the X-ray flux chart shows the broader flare signature. Ones lasting this long almost always produce coronal mass ejections, CMEs. The CME production could be guessed by just watching the sequence, clearly a breakout event of plasma followed by the flare brightness. The eruption appears to be heading due south. Early coronagraph images show the plasma eruption downward. The rest of the sequence will be visible in a few hours. The sunspots that produce the eruption cover a wide area but have only modest magnetic complexity. We'll be continuing to monitor these active regions but we'll also be keeping an eye on the plasma filaments. The thin, dark, snake-like ropes of plasma in the corona can erupt just as easily as flares at sunspots. You can see several of those filaments in the frames here from the 304 angstrom view of ionized helium. Folks, starting tomorrow night and into Monday, a triple planetary alignment unfolds. The Saturn opposition, my favorite, where Earth comes between the Sun and Saturn. And at the same time, Venus and Mars are heliocentrically opposed on opposite sides of the Sun there. And while those two are happening, we've got the Sun, Mercury, and Jupiter lined up as well. Very rare to have three alignments like this at the same time. Quick peek in on the super typhoon up next. After skirting southern China, the megastorm has made landfall in northern Vietnam. Sustained 130 mile per hour winds are causing major issues. Several deaths already reported. Godspeed to the region. Lastly, on the article front, we've got an excellent one on the biological impact of solar storms. Focused on the emotional and psychological aspects of the interaction here, they note how mood, cognition, and behavior can be impacted by these electromagnetic processes. Two administrative notes to close. First, my schedule for the rest of the year at Observer Ranch is basically set. The next two days will be tomorrow, Sunday, and Tuesday. Whether you want to come stay for the talks or just visit for the day, you can find all information at ObserverRanch.com. Would love to see you out there like I did with a few observers yesterday. Just hung out and talked Observer Science. Second, folks, tonight may be my last live stream. I have found that with the ranch opening, some things need to be cut back. Live shows, probably one of them. Join us tonight for what may just be the last live stream ever. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.